In the first section, we learned how to greet people in English. At first glance, it seems to be an easy task, but in fact, it is not. If you are introduced to somebody for the first time, you might want to say, "Nice to meet you." When you meet close friends or someone you are familiar with, a simple hi will work. Can't you tell? Oh, I just got my hair cut. It looks great. Hey, what's up? Oh, hey guys. Um, sorry, I just finished two sessions and I'm on my way to a meeting now. Okay, well, busy as ever. I'll yeah. see you later. Sorry, I'm hungry. See ya. Hey, what are you doing after class today? I have a lot of homework. Have you done the project for Dr. Stavik yet? Uh, no. Um, hey, Christine. Hey, Kevin. Um, I'd like to introduce you to my friend Kate. Kate, this is Kevin. Kevin, this is Kate. Nice to meet you. I'm glad to meet you too. Christine's told me so much about you. Kate, I just love her. We've been friends since childhood. We grew up together. We seriously spent all of our time together. We were in all the same classes, on all the same sports teams. And when we worked together then, I was at her house. Oh man, it sounds like you guys have a lot in common. Absolutely. You know, my mom loves Kate as much as I do, and she was always welcome at our house. She came over for sleepovers every weekend, came over for dinner regularly, and we did homework together. She came home on the bus with me. Well, no wonder you guys are such close friends if you were raised like sisters. Absolutely. Yeah. Man, I really miss those days. We should go play basketball sometime soon. Absolutely, I'd love to. We should. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you, and thank you. But I really have to go. I'll, I'll see you, you guys. Later. Hey, Julie. Hi, Joyce. Welcome back. So nice to see you. Nice to see you too. It's great to be here again. Yes, I can't imagine that you were away for the whole week. Yeah. So how was your trip? It was amazing, you know. Xi'an is such an interesting city. I brought back a lot of pictures. Yeah, I can't wait to see them. I will show you then. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Are you new here? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I'm an exchange student from Georgia. Okay. My name is Betsy Leinbigler. I'm from Canada. It's oh, nice to meet it's you. It's nice to meet you too. You can call me Beth. Oh, that's okay. Uh, I'm Kevin Ingram. And I'm, I'm from Georgia. Okay, cool. Can I call you Kev? Yeah, you can call me Kev. Okay, cool. Is that a nickname? Do your friends call you Kev or Kevin? No, not really, but we can start. Okay, nice to meet you, Kev. It's nice to meet you too. This section discusses the subject of greeting people. The explanations and examples given talk about first introduction greetings, where the people in the example have never met before. For greetings that people use when they are more familiar with the person they are talking to. In section one two. Dr. Thomas Pearshot greets everybody with hello and welcome, and follows this with a very brief introduction of himself. He goes on to explain how greetings are important, particularly with first impressions, and then he talks about different greetings in different cultures. Dr. Pearshot. Also provides us with words and phrases that are important to remember, such as first impressions, make impression, polite, rude, impolite, personal information, and social status. These are important words and expressions to remember because they describe information and impression of social interaction.
most important in any dialogue, of course, is the opening greeting. The foundation of any good conversation or introduction is the opening greeting. In English, there are many different ways to greet somebody. This section shows us several examples. They are listed below. Hi, a casual version of the word hello. Good morning. One can also say good afternoon, good evening, or good night, depending on the time of the day. Hey is a very casual way of saying hello. To start a question like, "Hey, do you have class today?" it can also be used to get somebody's attention. "Hey, there's a taxi over there." It is very informal, so should only be used with equals and people you are very familiar with. One would not normally say, "Hey." To their teacher or boss, so be careful. Now,、uh, excuse me. This is a very polite way to open a dialogue with a stranger. It indicates that you do not wish to disturb them or make them feel uncomfortable. If you want to ask a stranger a question, it is most polite to begin with, "Excuse me, what's up?" A casual way of saying both "hello" and "what's going on," or "how are you." The usual response to this is "not much." There are many other greetings that can be used to open conversation. Here are some you might want to practice. Sup. A slang variation for "what's up." It is typically only used with social equals in the very casual setting. How's it going? Another way of saying "How are you?" or "How are things?" Morning. A cheerful way of saying "Good morning." Howdy. This word comes from the cowboy culture of the United States. It means "Hello." It is usually used in a joking manner. And it's a very friendly and casual way of saying hello. One would not use this word in a formal setting or to greet superiors. Yo, a slang word for hello or hey. Although it is not an impolite word, this should never be used in a formal setting or. To greet superiors because it is too casual.